Canyonlands National Park can be found very near and to the west of Moab, Utah. The large park is made up of four districts called Island in the Sky, the Needles, the Maze, and Horseshoe Canyon. The easiest district to visit is the Island in the Sky. The Mesa sits above 1,000 feet over the surrounding terrain and offers a spectacular view of the landscape from many different locations, which are easily accessed along the paved scenic drive. We're at Dead Horse Point, or just off of Dead Horse Point State Park, and looking down the Colorado River, and I thought I'd give you the view I have. Way over there is Canyonland. You can see the Schaefer Loop Trail Road. The Horseshoe Canyon District is a small district that is separated from the other three. It contains some of the most significant rock art in North America. The Great Gallery is the best known panel with its life size figures with intricate designs. In 2006, our trip took us to the Needles District for an adventurous backpacking trip down into Salt Creek Canyon. To reach our trailhead, we needed to drive a 17-mile remote dirt road out to Cathedral Butte. Once we arrived, we packed up all our heavy gear and headed down the steep trail to the base of the canyon. Eventually, we came to a spot where we could make camp. This nice, protective spot had a handy nearby water source, as well as a built-in kitchen for fine dining. The next day, we took a great day hike from camp, which brought us to Kirk's Cabin, built around 1890. From here, we could see our next destination, Kirk's Arch, with its 166-foot span. Once to the top, we could look back and pick out our campsite in the distance. On the way up, we spied something on the wall to the right. It was an old cliff dwelling, not mentioned on any map. It was a wonderful place to explore. It contained several interesting doors, pottery shards, and corn cobs left over from a thousand years ago. On the third day, the real adventure began. We noticed a storm brewing up by Cathedral Butte near our trailhead. By the time we got to the vehicle, a wet snowstorm had turned the smooth dirt road into a greasy, muddy mess that made driving a bit adventurous. Just in case the explorer decided to slide off the road, the guys walked for several miles and would direct me where to drive. Eventually, the sun came back out and we reached a drier section of the road at a lower elevation. Tired and exhausted, we were rewarded by a beautiful sunset on our way back to Moab and a hotel. 